Oops. All right, today's lesson is 2.3, Multiplying Fractions. It's on page 59 of your big book. So the essential question is, how do you multiply fractions? So by the end of this lesson, we should be able to multiply fractions. Unlock the problem. Sasha uh, still has four-fifths of a scarf left to knit. If she finishes half of the remaining part of the scarf today, how much of the scarf will Sasha knit today? So we simplify one half times four fifths. First, we're gonna multiply them, then write the product in simplest form. So we're gonna multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. So unlike adding and subtracting, fractions, we can just go ahead and work with unlike denominators when multiplying. So 1 times 4, 1 times 4 is 4, then we have 2 times 5, which is 10. So we simplify using the GCF. The GCF of 4 and 10 is 2. We're going to divide the numerator and the denominator by that GCF, which is 2. So we're going to take 4 tenths, mm -hmm. simplify it by uh, 2 over 2, which is, again, a form of 1. We're not changing the value because 1 doesn't change values when you multiply and divide by 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 1 half times 4 fifths equals 2 fifths. So Sasha will knit 2 fifths of the scarf today. So remember, you can find the product of two fractions by multiplying the numerators and multiplying the denominators. So all they've done here is they took the two fractions and put one line between them, put the two numerators on top, put the two de denominators on the bottom, and then went ahead and multiplied. All right, so here's our next example. Um, we'll need a quick review of um, converting uh, mixed numbers to what we call improper fractions. So an improper mm -hmm. fraction is just a fraction that's greater than one. Um, kind of a funny name, but that's what we call them is improper fractions. So multiply, this is a mixed number because we have a whole number and a fraction together. So one and one fourth times one and two thirds, another mixed number. Write the product in simplest form. So first we're gonna estimate one and one fourth. One fourth is pretty small. So it doesn't really affect the one. It doesn't make it bigger. Um, so we're going to round it to the nearest whole number, which is one. One and two thirds, that's two thirds is bigger. It's bigger than half. Therefore, it's closer to another one. And one and one together makes a two. So one and two thirds is closer to two than it is to the whole number one. Um, and then we're going to multiply one and two together. That gives us two. So our final answer when we do the full algorithm should be somewhere in the ballpark of two. Okay, write the mixed numbers as fractions greater than one. Okay, so if you'll recall from previous grades, we multiply one times the four, and then, which is four, then we add one more, which is five, and we keep the same denominator. That doesn't change. So one and one fourth is the same as five fourths. All right, so let's do that again with this one. We have one and two thirds. One times three is three, plus two more is five. So we have five thirds. So one and one fourth equals five fourths. We did it right here. 
1 and 2 thirds equals 5 thirds. We did it right here. Now we can go ahead and multiply the fractions. So we have 5 times 5 on top. 4 times 3 down below, so this is 25 and 12. And then we have to turn this back into a mixed number. And the way we do that is by dividing. So this is our um, divisor. This is our dividend. So 12 goes into 25 two times. And we have a remainder of one. That remainder becomes our new numerator. The divisor is our denominator. So 25 twelfths is the same as two and one twelfth as a mixed number. All right, since the estimate was 2 from the beginning up here, the answer is reasonable. So 1 and 1 fourth times 1 and 2 thirds equals 25 twelfths or 2 and 1 twelfth. Okay, let's take a look at the back side now. Okay, we have example 2. So first we're going to estimate, uh, or no, I'm sorry, we're going to evaluate. Um, so step one, it says estimate using benchmarks. Okay. So, um, all right, we're going to start with four fifths. Okay. So four fifths, they just want us to bring that down. We're basically bringing this down here. So we have four fifths, which is pretty close to one and six and three eighths. Three eighths is pretty close to a half. So six times a half is three. So we have one plus three is four. Okay, so that's our ballpark number to make sure we're somewhere near four at the end. Now we're gonna actually perform the operations in the parentheses according to order of operations. So we're six is the same as six over one. Whole numbers, um, if you divide six by one, it's still just six. So a fraction is just a division problem. So every whole number has one in the denominator. So we're going to go ahead and put a one here. Right now, we're not going to worry about this four fifths. That's going to come later, but we don't forget about it. We bring it along, but for right now, we're working inside the parentheses. Okay, six times three is 18. One times eight is eight. All right, so now, um, we're going to, we can't actually add these, right? Because they don't have the same denominators. With multiplication, that doesn't matter. But with addition and subtraction of fractions, that does matter. So we have to have the same denominator. So we're going to write equivalent fractions using um, a common denominator. Then we can go ahead and add. So we took the 4 fifths and we're going to multiply by 8 over 8 so that we can get... Um, a common denominator. And this is going to be 18 eighths times 5. So um, we're taking this denominator, multiplying it by this number over here, taking this denominator, multiplying it by this fraction over here in order to get a common denominator. So we have 4 times 8 is 32, 5 times 8 is 40. All right, so now we have 18 times five. I don't know that off the top of my head. Maybe you do, but I don't. I'm gonna have to do some margin work. I end up with 40, that's 90. So I have 90 over 40. 
So now I do have common denominators because I did this multiplication step. I have common denominators. Now I can go ahead and add. So 32 plus 90 is 122 over 40. All right, but we're still not done with this problem because it's not in simplest form. So we need to find the GCF of 122 and 40. And I'm thinking it's two. All right, so we have 122 divided by two is 61. 40 divided by 2 is 20. Okay, it's still a fraction greater than 1 or an improper fraction. Those are the same, those describe the same thing where the numerator is bigger than the denominator. And when that's the case, simplest form, you convert it back into a mixed number. So the denominator becomes the divisor, the numerator becomes the dividend. We have a 3 here. Oops, it's not zero, one. So we have three and one twentieth. So 61 twentieths is the same as, as three and one twentieth. So our original estimate was about four. So the answer is reasonable. Three and four are pretty close to each other. So four-fifths plus the quantity, that's what you say when you have um, numbers in parentheses, you use the word the quantity, six times three-eighths equals 61 twentieths or three and one twentieth. Okay, it's time for you to do your notes. Here we go, 2.3 2 multiplying fractions. When you have an improper fraction or uh, I should say a fraction greater than one. Those are interchangeable terms. Oh, it's right there. The numerator is larger than the denominator and the fraction does equal more than one. So here's an example. Um, 23 fifths equals four and three fifths. And the way that you get that is by doing the algorithm. So 23 fifths equals four and three fifths as a mixed number. A mixed number is a whole number with a fraction added to it. To convert mixed numbers to improper fractions or fractions greater than one, You multiply the whole number with the denominator, then you add the numerator. And that equals, so in this case, five and two, or one and two thirds equals five thirds. To convert a fraction greater than one to a mixed number, you have to do this division. The, um, the denominator becomes the divisor, the numerator becomes the dividend, And then you go ahead and work it out. And so 10 thirds equals three and a third. All right, multiplying numerators and multiply denominators. You just multiply straight across with fractions. So one times four is four, two times five is 10. Then you simplify with the GCF. So four tenths, the GCF is in this case, Two, so I'm I'm dividing by two over two. Four divided by two is two. Ten divided by two is five. All right.